Congratulations on the album. It's an absolutely fantastic album. Oh, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. That's so nice. So tell us a little bit about this album. We've heard your sound evolve over the years. What were you guys' goals when you were going into this album? I think probably the same as the last few, to be honest. It's just basically with, with each album, we sort of set a barrier for ourselves. And we try to like sort of block out the noise of what other bands are doing and not think too much about what everyone else is doing and just try and write a better album than the last one. The last one that we wrote, I think that's always the basically the goal is just to make sure it's better than the album we just like, we released beforehand. So how do you go about that step? Like, do you sit down and kind of dissect the last album and and think about how you could have made things better? Or how do you actually approach a new album with that in mind that you want to make it better than the last album? Uh, I, I, yeah, I guess we kind of do. Like, it's just that, like, we, like I, for me personally, I always listen to the vocals on the last album. Like, to be quite honest, I, I, apart from playing our songs live, I don't really ever listen to my own band, if I'm being quite honest. Yeah. But before we start writing a new album, I always like just sit and have a few listens through to the last album and think, well, like, what, what about this? What about the vocals here is what makes this stand out? Like, what, what what's the best parts of the vocals here? And most of the time, it's always the hooks, like the vocal, or the choruses, for example, or like the you know the big standout lines going into a breakdown or whatever. Like these are always the parts that really stand out live, and the crowd always remember and always sing along to live. So always try and basically focus on those parts and try and make them better. Try and make catchier vocal. Try and make catchier choruses. For the and the vocals especially, just uh, yeah, I guess just like picking out all the strong parts from the previous album and just trying to, trying to up, up them on the next one. Your last album was written on the road while you were, while you were touring. This album would have been written in the middle of the pandemic. How did that change the way that you guys actually wrote the tracks for this album, not being on the road and and kind of almost being trapped at home at times? The first, the first, first point would be we had more time. Like th- this album was probably because obviously we were in the pandemic. We just had a lot more time to, like you know, craft the songs a bit better and think about where we wanted to go and think about how. But the one thing we really wanted to do with this album was try to make uh, try to make it quite a diverse album. We wanted to give like put, try and squeeze so many genres of metal into the one album while still keeping our sort of signature sound. And the next point would be, I guess, like one of the one of the main points, or like one of the things that make metal so good is how aggressive and angry it is for me personally, anyway. And I guess uh, this probably applies to every single person in the world. But it wasn't really a good headspace when everyone was in pandemic. No one exactly was feeling particularly great about themselves or about the state of the world. So I guess that translated into the into the songwriting as well. And for me, just for me, I feel like a a proper aggressive, angry album is what makes a good metal album. Definitely. And I think we all felt that frustration during the pandemic. The the city that I'm in here was the most locked down city in the world during the pandemic. I think our first lockdown lasted for 230 days or something. How did that make you feel being able to let some of that frustration out with your music at the time? Oh, it was it was cathartic, man. That that's the one thing I've been saying in most of the pre- most of this album. Like this album feels so cathartic, and I think that's why it's just like it was just such a you know a miserable time. And then knowing that the the, the light you know, was finishing this album and releasing this album to the world, it was just such a good feeling. It was honest, honestly like to be honest, I think that probably. This album probably saved me mentally during the pandemic. I'm being completely honest. So tell us a little bit about those emotions that you were going through. You said that that it kind of saved you. What kind of emotions were you going through during the lockdown, and what was getting to you the most? Well, well, basically for like half of my life, I've been in this band. Like literally, in fact, more than half of my entire life, I've spent in this band. And I've been so used to, like, being out on tour, seeing my friends. Just I've always lived quite a social, sociable life, and that is probably mostly due to this band. 
So just not being able to do that, just that complete shift in lifestyle was just such a miserable time, man. Like just obviously I was lucky enough that I like, I lived with my partner and obviously having someone there during that was helped a lot. I know a few of my friends were live on their own and they were just completely on their own yeah. during lockdown and it was I, I can't even imagine how bad that was. So I'm I guess in some ways I'm quite lucky in that sense. With that frustration coming through in the lyrics, there's going to be people out there that that listen to this album and they're going to to resonate with that frustration. They're going to find it uh, referring to things in their own lives. Are you kind of prepared for people to get in contact with the band and say, hey, I listened to this track and it reminds me of the relationship that I'm in or the, the addiction that I'm going through at the moment? Are you ready for that kind of thing? I think you kind of always have to be like that's one of the nicest things about being in a band you know like touching people like that like well relating to people people relating to what you say that's like the biggest goal i think is, is for me personally when i'm writing lyrics i always try and write from a really personal place like i, I don't really i write about is all real life stuff all stuff that i've been through and it's all very personal so I guess when when that happens, that's like essentially the, like the, the end goal was just to reach people in that way. Yeah, um, you, you, uh, you kind of always just have to prepare for that, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I love I love like I love meeting new people and getting to know people and talking to people. Like I've always loved it. As I said, I've always loved a very sociable life. So for me, it's just part. Of that. That's just quite normal to be honest, because I'm always like really like interacting with people online and stuff like that. So, Definitely. And you mentioned that with this album, you got to spend more time on the album as well. Some artists that I've spoken to have said that's been a bit of a negative because they've been kind of trapped with their own music and trapped with their own thoughts and wanting to change things that are probably perfect. How do you not do that? How do you concentrate on doing the music and then saying, no, that's right, that's ready to go without changing it because you do have that spare time on your hands? It's a good question. See, to be honest, I think you, you, you just always know if a song if a song was done, you just you always know. And like we did spend like there was a lot of song, a few, well, some, probably about half of the songs in this album that I did spend so so long on. And at the time, it was so frustrating, and I, I was almost a bit like it's a bit of a bad taste now. If I was like, I just don't know if this song is good because I went over and over and over it, and I just sometimes in that moment you're kind of like. I don't. I just don't know about this song. But see, look, like reflecting on it now, now that the album's been written and recorded for quite quite some time now, looking back on it now, it's always a good thing when you take that long. I think like some songs are just some songs just come straight away and they're meant to be, and that's amazing. But some don't, and and in that moment, it does feel like it's. I don't know, it just almost feels like this song's just taken forever and I don't think it's going to be that good. But when some time has passed and you look back on it now, you're like, that song did need that amount of time spent on it and it sounds great now that I look, look back on it with like sort of fresh ears. And um, yeah, so, so some songs just need it, some don't. Yeah. How do you feel now that the album is only a couple of months away from coming out? Are you excited about it coming out so that your fans can hear it or... Do you get a little bit nervous when you've got a new album coming out? Yeah, about both. Like, I'm excited because I personally think it's, and I know probably every band member probably says this or has to say this, but I really, really strongly believe that it is our best album yet. Like, 100%. Like, but there is also the nerves as well because you spend so much time on something, you put so much of yourself into something, and then all of a sudden it just doesn't belong to you anymore. It belongs to you the people that listen to your music and you can only just hope that they like it and we tried a lot of new things in this album and we experimented with a lot of new sounds there's loads of orchestration I've, there's a lot of chorus like pretty much every song on there has like a big sing-along chorus that can be taken negatively because a lot of metal fans really don't like that but we for, for some reason when we've done it in the past people have always welcomed it with open arms so I hope that's the case for this album so yeah a bit of a mix of both I'm excited as hell, but I'm also a bit nervous. Yeah, I've been lucky enough to be able to actually sit down and take a listen to the album, but our listeners haven't and won't get that opportunity for a couple of months. So I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about what you were talking about before with the experimentation of different 
genres on this album. Tell us a little bit about what the fans can actually expect to hear with that experimentation of genres. Well, there is like a song in the album called Flesh and Stone that has like sort of a, I think the main inspiration behind that song was like a sort of symphonic black metal, like, you know, like Demi Borger, yep. loads of orchestration, like blast beats, like really dark melodies. We've never really done anything like that before. And I think that's honestly probably one of my favourite songs in the album. Maybe it wouldn't be if I wasn't in the band, but because I'm in the band and we've done, it's like almost like new territory for us, and that excites me. So that's probably why that's my favorite song. There's also a song on the album called Paradise. It's a sort of really dark, doomy song with like loads of piano and stuff in it, which we've never done before. We just wanted to add a lot more layers that we've never we've never messed with before, and they always turn out to be like my favorite songs in the album. And I, as I said, I don't know if it's because they are just generally my favourite songs or it's because it's sort of new territory for us and that excites me. So, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I think people will notice how much we've experimented with this album. And that was the goal, to try and cover as much ground as possible. Definitely. Now, you mentioned before about um, the songwriting during the pandemic. Was it difficult for you guys to get together and record? Because I know that the first thing that clo- one of the first things that closed here during our lockdowns were music studios. Did that make it kind of difficult for you guys to record? No, not really, because well, well, when we started recording the album, the, the restrictions restrictions had all been lifted anyway, but when, we're, when it comes to writing the music, the music is kind of always written remotely anyway. Like our guitarist, Gunzi, he always like just writes the songs in his own home studio. Yeah. And then he'll like send demos with like, you know, like program drums and obviously no vocals, but the songs always sort of start from him. Just like writing like rough songs in his in his home and then he sends them to us and then we come in with our opinion and we're like over lockdown we were constantly like twice a week we were on Zoom calls discussing like where the songs should go and then whereas before we would normally he would write the songs and then we would meet up in the studio and jam the songs but this time it was more on zoom to be honest so it still kind of felt like we were there in person but it was just obviously from behind a computer screen unfortunately (laughs) yeah so in the middle of all of this as well you guys um signed with nuclear blast tell us a little bit about how that came about and how that made you feel signing with one of the biggest metal labels in the world yeah, about. I think that's always been the sort of like dream and end goal for us was to be on the club last. Like I remember as a kid, I would literally buy albums because they had the new club last logo on them. Like yep, same here. Like bands like Lamb of God are probably my favourite metal band in the world. They're on they're on the club last. It's just I just think it's the place we're supposed to be, especially for our sound. And where we where we see ourselves going, like we're a metal band, and we want to be on tour with metal bands. We want to be aligned with metal bands, like proper metal bands, and that's just that's the home of metal, really. And that we, we just could not be in a better position to release this new album with anyone else other than Nuclear Blast. Awesome. So, well, where to now for the band? With the album coming out in a couple of months and the world opening back up again, what's the plans for for the rest of this year for the band? Um, just try and get to as much new, uh, as many new places as possible. Like we've still never been to the states. That's the, that's that's like the ultimate goal is to just get over to the states and Australia and like just play there as much as possible because we've played UK and Europe so many times, like mainland Europe even, um, and we've been to Japan, we've been to China. So we just really need to get to the states and Australia and just try and. Because we've been, we've been like, as I said, mentioned before, that like, I've been in the band half my life. We, we've been going now for, I think, 16 years. And we have played every corner of the UK and Europe. So it's just time in with, like, I think that's one of the one of the special things about our band is, like, we didn't just release an album on the internet and blow up. It's like we have literally played to get to where we are, like constantly, we've, tour- we've been touring now for like 12 years and we've still never been to the like overseas to places like the States and Australia, so we just need to get over there and play in front of people because I think that's 
our music trans- translates better so much live than it does on the album because we've been playing together for so long. So I just think we just need to get over there and just play as much to play to as many people as possible and just get out and play 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 the new album. And people really like that's how that's how we want to be perceived as a live band and yeah. So just get out and play this album to as many people as possible. Well, I know there would be a lot of Australians that would definitely like to see you guys come and play here. So Scott, I guess to to wrap up, what would you like to say to your fans? listening right now before they go out and grab the copy of the album in a couple of months just thank you for picking up the album i really hope you like it and um i can't wait to play these songs to your life like that's literally just that's that's honestly the only thing that we could ever hope to be as a band is just to be a good live band and play the song of life for people obviously it's amazing recording albums and it's amazing when people appreciate it and pick up the album but like we just want to play the songs to people live that's just the, the, the dream really is playing live shows it's the best part about being in a band and i can't wait to get out and play the songs live <laughs>